So Ono just waiting for the picks. Mama playing that time beautifully. Oh, and Mama takes him down. Lovely play from Mama. Wow. And that's 9-11 stopping that 12 appearing on the board for number one. And that would have obviously meant possible over time. And it's generally a messy business. Could we actually see a comeback? I would, I'd, 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 I'd love to see it, yeah, indeed. Anyways, we start off here with Paradox. Won't be able to get any early picture. That's Mo going up top. She's going to start us off in the run as he finishes off Q. Again, these teams just allowing themselves to get into a, a little spot, you know, get into the little comfort zones as they start getting picks. And we can definitely see if we have a look at the overlay. Those teams really are split. Really see the number. Sorry, I believe it's the Star Guys now on attack. Yes, the Star Guys all mixed out. Paradox finishing off Ono as he tries to fly out that window. And Mama to take out Jermaine. And now, like these guys do, they instinctively remember which player plays where. They know if they take out an SMG or something, he's most likely going to be playing A. And as they get the kills, they're like, right, so we've opened up this location, let's go take him out. Like they would know, like a scope would generally be sitting in spawn kind of area. And if they take him out, you know, that's a lot of mid cover that uh, or it opens up a lot of mid cover for them. We'll see Paradox pushing up here with a Deagle. That was wow. a lovely play. I'm not sure whether you were following him there, but Definitely Paradox was. really... Yeah, he was playing that mid street so aggressively as a scope, but it's so it worked for him so well. I mean, the smoke was there. I mean, people tend to just neglect just how powerful the smoke can be. I mean, obviously, if they don't know you're there, that's a, it's a second wall. I mean, you, you're sat there, they don't know you're there, and it's such an advantage to players. And Paradox used it perfectly there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go with Paradox, the man we were just talking about. As it looks to be quite an aggressive B push. I mean, Paradox has got the bomb. Whenever the scope has the bomb, it tends to be looking like a B push or looking for those picks. Anywho. As Jermaine is the only man to get the frag still. It was Mama. Mama been catching this entire game. He really has been going for Nate still. He is showing he can pull back. I mean, was Mama. It was this map where Mama was dropping 1 for 8, was it not? Yes, it was at the beginning. And oh, look at that comeback. He is now just below Paradox with 19 for 16. Massive pullback from Mama as it is 2v4. Paradox and Cube, the two men standing. Future does take down Cubes as Paradox gets a lovely two man. Lubashmir and Future both falling. And now it's Future and Tox just stand between Paradox and a gorgeous, gorgeous four-man. I mean, there's no doubt behind Paradox's skill. He does have the bomb, making his job just that little bit easier. Whether or not he can pull this off, I mean, what, who's your money on? Uh, Future and Tox, I'm pretty sure they've learned enough now that they don't need to go peeking and that they definitely have the ability to stop this man, especially with that little time left, and they know where he is. Wow. Paradox is trying to get that pick through the wall. He doesn't though, does he? He does push it, trying to catch him. He just, just goes over that wall. Toxter just danced. Paradox, 15 seconds. Trying to land the no scope. It doesn't. And now 12 seconds. It's not looking like we're Paradox. No bullets in that. Let's take down Toxter though. Last man standing is in fact Jermaine. Oh As Jermaine my goes what? down. Paradox coming up massive for stars. That was incredible play from Paradox there. Gorgeous four man. And there it is. 11-11. Wow. I wish I was on their team speak right now. Uh, indeed. You would have heard the keyboards breaking over the knees. And all Paradox has to say about is complain about his mouse. My days. Oh well. That's what these this guys round worry about. It's not going to go the same though as Lubeschmidt does land the nade onto Paradox. <sighs> it's coming down to the rounds and there's only two rounds left and it, it means the difference between winning or tying for both of these teams. They pick up the next two rounds, it's a win for a team. If you know, they pick, if they get one and they lose one, well, uh, we'll see a tie come out. Now, here we're talking again. They stuck it under look, and it's going to be difficult for those guys to get up. We have got a flank coming in in the form of who is there? Jermaine with that AK would be, should be able to get a pick or two, but he won't. And Rhea's waiting there at the bottom. We'll finish him off. Torkshay gets the evening kill as he takes out cubed. And he knows there's one, and Underlook has actually tagged and Rio up, and now and Rio will be laying down. He'll be trying to find or at least reply to Tokshay's bullets. And he won't do so. We'll be moving into A. Hans got the bomb. And there's an SMG waiting for him there. And it is Future to take out. And Rio Fantasy finishes off Tokshay. Last man standing is Future. And uh, definitely putting my money on Future for this one. He has been playing so strong. Wow. I love that money. I've had to, I've had to uh, eat, my, eat my words twice now. <laughs> okay, so this is match point for stars. Let's see how they play. Let's go with... The man we've been talking about was Paradox. You really do like Paradox, don't you? Well, I, just, I, I find the way he plays so like, aggressive. Once again, it's a B push. Let's see how Stars SMGs are playing the B push. They have obviously sent, they've sent two players to A. Mama does take down one on A site. 
as Cubed falls. That's the other Stars SMG down on O with the frag onto him, and now it's a 3v4. Stars at the disadvantage, and once again, it looks to be a rotate. They do, they always just, they send their players, they, they spread them out nicely, and they're always just pushing where they get the picks. It makes so much sense, but so many teams struggle to implement it. As Toxjill has a lovely flag onto Enrio, Paradox, the last man standing. And there it is, Lewis takes him down, bring it to overtime. That's 12-12. Will we be seeing an overtime? I'm not entirely sure, I think it's just going to say good game. Uh, I believe it should oh, be. It was just Paradox a show match. fighting for overtime. Paradox would be. But see, now, now, now it gets serious because that just shows, you know, he, won, he, has, a, he has a point to prove. Really well, it, have to. it also shows just how, like, I mean, equal play. I mean, obviously, the, these players are all playing in top teams around the world, but it just shows how equal their skill is. Maybe it was different on Cluster, I mean, with people not knowing the map as well and uh, different things. I mean, people say, oh, it looks like we are going for overtime as it has gone to MR3. And Paradox is going to fight for this game. He wants to win. He just wants to prove he's good. In fact, yeah, have we got everyone here? I think people have left already. Well, everyone's on the... Oh, no, we have seen players leave. It seems the number one guys are done for the night. Stars guys are still there waiting, but uh, it's not going to turn out that way. No, ah, we there have it is. Seen game over. Lead. Okay, then, so anyone that's still with us... Just to remind you once again that Cluster is on pickups. The amount of people that have been asking on IRC and in Justin TV, just to let you know, if you want to play the map, want to have a look around. Obviously, it's fast download. You get on that map and you get it, chances are it'll be on. I mean, the amount of people that are voting for it, get on pickups, get pickups more active, and get on Cluster. And we'll see if we can get that map implemented as soon as we can. All right. Now, a couple of last shoutouts before we uh, close off tonight. Um... Wow, there's uh, there's quite a few shoutouts actually on my X Fire. Uh, shoutouts to Tex, who uh, I believe was actually casting the other night, and uh, a couple of guys asked me if they want to help me with graphics. Yeah, it'd be nice. Of course, thank you to Zershin for the the graphics that have been done tonight. Um, of course, there there wasn't anything to come from this. This was literally just me and Machine bringing you guys this match. Shout out to Prebu, shout out to Zershan, of course, thank you for the, the stuff. Shout out to Pansy, who I see was watching as well. Uh, shout out to everyone that could actually watch the stream. I apologize again for the some of the guys that had a couple of net problems earlier on. I say net problems, uh, my quality was just really high, I apologize for that. And also, in addition, any feed, uh, feedback on my casting and obviously menaces, um, I'm relatively new to this. I'm enjoying every second of it though, so any feedback to maybe just that little bit better. I would really appreciate. So if you want to put it on the Tech9 thread for this show match, that would be great, greatly appreciated. And I'm off to Italy tomorrow. Wow, Ooh. nice one. But uh, yeah, guys, so as you said, uh, we, are open up to we are open to criticism. Please don't think we're not. Please don't think that we're just like some guys just sitting up here talking a load of rubbish. We are here for the community, and we do take every single word you say into consideration. So if you guys are something, you know, if you think we, we follow the player too much, or if you think we... Uh, you know, our film tweaks are crap, or you know, if you don't like our voice, or if you just were having a bad day and feel like flaming, have fun. You know. Anyway, that's on Tech Nine. Other than that, uh, thank you to everyone that was on ILC. Thank you to everyone that was watching. But uh, from myself and Machine, and from V to Nova, and everyone in the games tonight, I thank everyone for. And this is Promod. And of course, Promod. Yes, thank you to Promod. Without them, we couldn't be playing Call of Duty competitively. But uh, from myself and Machine for tonight. Good night. Good night.